Welcome to Heartland, New Brunswick, home to the world's longest covered bridge, but more importantly, ground zero for delicious, because it is here that magical elves gather and make wonderful potato chips, or at least that's my theory. Today, I go inside the covered bridge potato chip factory and uncover the secrets behind civilization's greatest invention, the chip. This is Ryan Albright. He is president and the founder of Covered Bridge Chips. Hello, Ryan. How are you? Hey, Rick. How you doing? Now, how long has your family been in the potato business? We've been in the potato business since the 1920s mm -hmm. and launched the potato chips in 2009. So this was your baby. Yeah. So the family, you grew potatoes, you sold potatoes, but you thought, I'm going to make chips. Yeah, the tasty chips. That's good. <laughs> I have never had a lobster chip. We only do run them during lobster season. Wharf. <laughs> the smell of the wharf. That's good. Delicious. There's, yes, I'm, that's what I meant to say. We're in stage one of the factory. Hello, what's your name? Dan, Rod. Hi, Dan. Now, Dan, I see we've got the large Costco size bag of sweet potatoes here. How many pounds is this? About 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pound bag of potatoes. Do you need me to direct you? This way, Dan. That's it. Hey, ho, ho, ho. Hang on, the boss is saying stop. Hang on. Safety first. It's like you can walk on sweet potatoes. <laughs> so you just pull the string and it's going to dump. Yeah, they're going to, sometimes they come out really fast. Yeah. Sometimes you got to wiggle the first potato. Oh, out. yeah. And then once that first potato comes out. Yeah. Look out. It's like the ice bucket challenge, except with 2,000 pounds of potatoes. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> like the scene from Flashdance. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Rodney Sharp. Hello, Rodney, nice to see you. So these potatoes, I've just delivered these and now they've been washed, correct? Right. See Look that? at the size of that sucker. That's too big, isn't it, Rodney? That's right. Like that. I need one of these at home. How fast is that slicing the potatoes? Eight tiny razor blades will slice 55 pounds in about 20 seconds. Eight razor blades, 55 yeah. pounds in 20 seconds. Now it could splash on us. Okay. You want to wear a shirt when you're... Ow! Oh, mother God! Oh, that tastes good, though. That tastes good. 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Really? Sadly, this is the largest oil deposit in New Brunswick. It takes about three minutes and 46 seconds. So I'll be eating in about four minutes. Exactly. Would you like a chip? They go in there, what happens? So this machine's called a centrifuge. Oh, it's like a tilt-a-whirl for chips. It takes the extra oil off, exactly. And then you're left with a delicious chip. Dry. And now they're going to go over there to those ladies, and then what happens? They're going to pick out any chips that aren't cooked enough or any chips that are burnt. Hi, Paula. Nice to see you. And what's your name? Nancy. Hi, Nancy. What are we doing here? Uh, we're sorting out the bad chips. There are no bad chips. They're just potatoes that haven't been loved properly. Isn't that exciting? I mean, if you like chips, you got to love that. What's not to like? Now, this conveyor belt goes right to one of Mike Duffy's residences. <laughs> That's what I heard. Oh, okay. <laughs> now look, you don't have to worry. I checked everything from here to here. They're all good. <laughs> I've gotten rid of the bad chips, now what? All right, so now we gotta put the seasoning on. 50 pounds of salt. Salt's half the roads in New Brunswick for this. What makes chips taste so good? Well, I don't know, son. Okay, we've salted the chips, and now they come out and they're delicious, correct? That's right. And the chips are falling where they may.
put like a little extra one in there as a treat? No. Uh, one more? No. Two stars? This is good. I got the hang of it. Can I take a bag home? Yes, definitely. Because I brought my own bag. Thanks for having me. How are you going to get that home? Oh, I got a plan. I might have to eat them before I get on the plane.